Today we are going to build a Vibe DIY kit, our automated Zeovit reactor. In addition to everything you receive in the kit, you will need an adjustable wrench, Teflon tape, and a wire stripper cutter. We will start by assembling the reactor body. Take the flange with the o-ring groove facing down and glue the tube chamber to this. Make sure that the tube is fully pushed down until it bottoms out on the table. You're going to let this dry for one hour. Once dry, we could flip it over and glue the base. Moving on, we're going to start assembling the vibrating base of the vibe. First, we're going to push the rubber feet into the base plate. The feet go opposite of the groove side of this plate. Next, take the motor and install it on the groove side of the top motor plate. You want it oriented so the wires face the little reference line that is cut into the acrylic base. Secure the motor with lock nuts. Once secure, strip about half inch off the motor wire. Install the cord grip in the motor shroud and line up the cord grip so it is next to the reference mark on the plate. Now we can glue this down. For the next step, we're going to need the amber solvent. Add glue to the pockets for the short spring retainer tubes. Glue in the short sections of pipe.
On the base plate, you will need to do the same thing, but also add some solvent to the center of the pocket. Glue in the long pipes. Next, drop in the standoffs. Now we are going to install the springs on the motor side. Using the supplied silicone, fill in the pipe and place in your springs. Then take the small brush and spread the silicone to the outer edges of the pipe so that the spring is encased. Let everything dry for one hour. Going back to the motor, we will pull the wires out from the lower routing holes to gain a little bit more room to work. Push the cord through the nut and then through the cord grip. Wire the hot and neutral to the motor. Place a zip tie around the wire connectors and then connect the ground wire. Take your time to make sure the wiring sits well below the top of the motor, and then tighten up the cord grip. Finally, we're going to add the bar that will create the vibration in the assembly. Line up the screws with the milled flat on the motor shaft and secure with a flathead screwdriver. Now we are going to add silicone to the motor side of the base.
Place the partially assembled half into the spring retainers and then using the brush, spread it out to the edges. Let this assembly fully dry overnight. The next day we can begin final assembly. Place the down tube into the media plate. Add the four one inch long pan head screws. and then press the down tube below the plate by about 3 eighths of an inch. Now we can wrap our fittings with Teflon tape and attach to the lid. There's a pocket for the coupling on the underside of the lid, so make sure that the fittings are on top. We'll add a coupling to the top of the down tube and screw onto the lid. Next, we're going to add the O-ring and the eight one-inch thumb screws to the flange. and we can place our lid assembly onto the reactor. Now we move back to the base and install the inch and a half long screws and nuts. Then the rubber bumpers, the media reactor, and finally wing nuts. Add your stickers and the vibe is complete. 
You want to wait for a full three days for all the glue joints to fully cure before putting your new vibe into service. You can find this DIY kit as well as the fully assembled versions of all our products on avastmarine.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and our newsletter to stay up to date on all our newest releases.